Emily Euphoria. Sleep and no sleep. Sleepwalkers, skywalkers, whoever, whenever, wherever. My eyes close in sleep. My dreams take me to the sky. A mix of sleepwalking, sleep talking, skywalking. Then my eyes open in wakefulness. Daydreaming about blue skies, clear blue skies. Not one cloud in the sky. Watching the clouds make way for the fire show. Seeing fireworks from space. They make the sky so beautiful. An everyday 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Skywalkers, the birds are my friends. I'm a dove on Sunday, an eagle on Saturday, an angel every other day. I need no way of getting to the sky's air. No plane, no hot air balloon, no parachutes, no air travel. No one but me knows. Flowers of colors not from earth grow and stay inside the sky's tallest clouds. No one but me knows. My dreams aren't just dreams. They are a world bright and true. Sleepwalkers and skywalkers. They cannot find each other. This fact takes them to loneliness. Their sky and birds become their only friends. Sleeping and walking with eyes closed, mind open, mind wide open. Brain gone mad, imagining sleeping safe and sound on cloud nine. Sleeping and walking on clouds changing colors. Each light, careful step sending colors to the air. Either the sky and clouds are mine, or I am theirs. Sleeping and walking in a world of clouds. Walking back to my bed and away from my dreams. Waking like I have insomnia uncurable. Sleep and no sleep. So, <laughs> that is a poem. <laughs> so, I don't know, um... The words came first, the poem came first, and then I thought of this weird, wacky, quirky, really weird picture idea, and it's just me pretending to sleep on my bed, and I've got this dream catcher going on, and I like how it's really bright outside, and you can see that with the window, but you know that it's day, not night, and I'm asleep during the day, and so you can insert whatever imagination you got going when you see this picture and you can dissect it the way you want and there's a lot of symbolism in here that you can discover and maybe possibly relate to and I'm a person who has had insomnia the vast majority of their life and I've been able to overcome a lot of it most of it with sleep meds and time and also age and it's not nearly as bad as it once was. Sometimes I can't fall asleep till kind of late, and that's partly my fault. Sometimes I go to bed too late. But anyway, we don't have to talk anymore about my sleeping habits and sleeping schedule. But I don't know. I think dreams are really interesting. You usually forget them when you w wake up, but they're just a really beautiful, amazing thing. And we can learn a lot from them, and we can write them down. And anyway, 